Hey, my name is Jen Biller. I'm going to be doing this presentation on women and the economy. Uh, I thought it was a great topic, graduating in three weeks-ish, and um, being a woman, entering the workforce, and uh, what that looks like in the recession right now, um, the history behind that, and kind of where it's headed. Um, the organization I used is called the Healing Center. It's um, in Tri-County, just really serves women, tries to help them find jobs, get job training, stuff like that. But um, I'll talk about that a little later. Uh, right now we're going to run through um, just some history, like I said, some PowerPoint slides. First, we're going to start off with a little bit of history of women in the workforce, um, starting out with three different categories. Um, family-based economy, family wage economy, and family consumer economy. Um, family-based economy was from the 17th to 18th century. Basically, the family was the economy with small farms and plantations, and everyone was responsible for their own work, so there was no discrimination. Then there was the family wage, which was basically the industrial revolution, um, where people became dependent on wages from outside the house. Um, that led to the dual role of women of outside the home and in. And finally, the family consumer economy, which is present. Um, you know, income outside the home. Um, so that's a little bit of history. And then um, the next slide is why women are struggling. Um, one of the biggest issues is that millions of jobs for women are being lost. Um, in the second bullet there, you can see um, that millions of jobs are missing for women. And at the same time, the, the wage gap is increasing. Um, issues of balancing home life and work life. Um, married women with children have tripled their labor force participation since 1960. Um, so it's just many, many issues um, linked with that. Issues just if someone does have a job, then who's taking care of their kids, stuff like that. Another major contributor is uh, primary versus secondary jobs. Uh, mainly primary jobs are held by men. These jobs are, um, they have more stability, higher wages, better working conditions, um, chances for advancement, things like that. Secondary jobs are more held by women. Um, these jobs are lower capital investments, low profit margins, irregular personnel practices, higher turnover, and lower pay. Just kind of anyone can do this job, and it's not a really great job, so it's like constant turnover, things like that. I mentioned the gender gap um, earlier, just these numbers should be switched around. Um, the gender gap fell to 24.5, which means that women make 70, about 75 cents on every dollar that men make, which in the long run, like, look at that, like almost $10,000 a year uh, less than men based on median earnings, which is just ridiculous. And like why these things occur, like so many reasons, like employers just um, think that women, you know, are going to have kids or whatever, so they don't want to pay them much, don't want to put them in those um, positions. Uh, right here you can uh, pause the thing, uh, the movie, just to kind of take a look at these, read through these. It's just about unemployment and the different unemployment rates um, among the different races of women. Um, and just, you know, a lot of women aren't even included in the employment rate because they basically just give up and think that there's no jobs out there. Um, this next slide is um, just a chart of that information. It's uh, women and broken down by race. And the last one is single heads of household. Um, how 8.2% of basically single moms are unemployed, uh, which is one of the big issues that um, my organization that I chose, um, why they do what they do. Um, and this is just a quote. You can pause this and read it. Center. Um, that's what I did my uh, social action project on um, the organization. It's through the Vineyard Community Church in Tri County. Um, it's only about a year old and it's just a huge, amazing facility, brand new. Um, and I went down there and I talked to uh, Steve Friedman, who is the operations manager, and he didn't want to be on camera. I don't really know why. He just kind of seemed freaked out about it. I don't really know. But he was great, other than not wanting to be on camera, but um, he answered a ton of questions and uh, really just made me want to find out more about the 
they do help anyone who comes in, but he said the majority of people who come in are single moms. And definitely right now in this economy, just, you know, providing for their family, um, the Healing Center, it really focuses on physical needs, um, you know, having food on the table, having a place to stay, that kind of thing. But um, what I'm focused is how they help women find jobs, get job training, um, just so many different aspects of work and how to help women um, find jobs, do all that stuff. They have a ton of stuff. They offer anything from um, job search, job coaching, job training. Um, I mean, you can take computer classes, anything from the basics, um, learning how to use Word to learning how to use Excel and uh, different kinds of programs. So that's pretty cool. They have a huge computer lab there. People can just come in and just kind of use it as they please. And um, that's really cool. They also um, just have things, you know, for moms who are struggling right now where they can go in and, um, you know, get toys for their kids if it's their birthday, you know. Um, and I just think that's really cool. Uh, they do a ton of other stuff. Um, he gave me tons of handouts, tons of packets. There's the website. Um, which I'll post on here if you guys want to check it out. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, I just answered a lot of questions. I'll put some quotes in the PowerPoints, things like that. Um, he was a really great guy. It's a really amazing thing that they do there, and they're really trying to help women, um, help women help themselves and help their families, um, and just get through these times right now. So, it was really cool. And, uh, I hope that, um, you know, even this, this project about the healing, healing center will um, just allow the word to get out about the healing center and um, all the great things that they do. Here's just a list um, of tons of stuff that the healing center does uh, for women who, um, you know, are looking for jobs, things like that. Um, you'll see in some of the interview that I put on here, it's not just about finding someone a job it's it's training them and and taking care of all those other things like you know having a car to go to work and and all those things you know dealing with the the um you know working outside the home and being in the home as well so i wasn't really sure how to overlap two vocals on video so um i just wrote out the interview um you might need to pause uh the video just to completely read through the answers so just want to let you know about that The first thing I asked Steve in this was, uh, what sort of programs do you offer to the women who come here to the Healing Center? Um, the next question I asked was, why do you think most of the people you serve here are women, um, mainly single moms? Finally, I just asked him um, if he had any last comments um, about the Healing Center in general. That is Women in the Economy and uh, a little bit about the Healing Center and what they do. Um, since they continue to struggle with these same things that people think are over, like the wage gap and things like that, hopefully uh, programs like the Healing Center and others um, can really just get the word out about how it just seems like we are so advanced in so many ways, and um, in some, it just looks like we're going nowhere fast. So, um, hopefully you learned something. The uh, website for the Healing Center will be on um, next, so check that out. See what they do. Um, see if you can help someone um, find it. Go there. Um, check them out. So, oh, all right. See you later.